Hi everyone! As with the whole tone scale, the octatonic scale was also adopted by Olivier Messiaen as part of his modes of limited transposition, but had already been used by various composers, including Polignac, Rimsky-Korsakov, Stravinsky, and Scriabin. It has also found subsequent use in other genres, including jazz and fusion. As its name suggests, the octatonic scale has eight notes separated by alternating semitones and tones. This intervallic configuration produces the limited transposition of Messiaen's label. An octatonic scale can only be transposed by a semitone twice before a third transposition duplicates the original scale beginning on another of its notes. An octatonic scale beginning with a semitone from D sharp, for example, produces the same notes as one beginning with a semitone from C. There are therefore only three different octatonic scales. While the scales may theoretically begin on any of their notes, the three octatonic scales are commonly listed beginning with a semitone from the notes C, C sharp, and D. There are several ways of labeling these scales. Probably the most common way relates them to their initial note. These three, therefore, would be octatonic scales beginning on C, C sharp, and D. Another common method of labeling is to describe the number of semitones between the scale's initial notes. These would all be labelled 1-2 octatonic scales as they begin with a semitone followed by a tone. They may also begin with a tone from the initial note and these would be labelled 2-1. As already mentioned however, an octatonic scale beginning with a tone can be related back to one of the original scales and is therefore simply a mode of one of the original three. Melodically, octatonic scales can be divided, using necessary enharmonic equivalents, into tritones and minor thirds. The latter intervallic division forms diminished seventh chords beginning on the scale's initial two notes. The scales may also be divided into tetrachords, either containing a tone framed by two semitones, labelled 1-2-1, one, one, or a semitone framed by tones, labelled 2-1-2. Two, Trichords alternating 1, 2 and 2, 1 may also be formed from each of the scale's relevant degrees. The tetrachords and trichords provide many melodic modulatory possibilities. The 1, 2, 1 tetrachords of an octatonic scale beginning on C, for example, contain the following scale degrees from these minor keys. And the 2, 1, 2 tetrachords contain the following scale degrees in these keys. The scale's trichords also provide many modulatory possibilities. Looking only at the 1, 2 and 2, 1 trichords beginning on the initial notes, again of this octatonic scale beginning on C for example, the following scale degrees from these major and minor keys are included. All of these melodic fragments provide opportunities for modulating between octatonic and diatonic sound worlds, as well as between the different octatonic scales. Used melodically or harmonically, the notes of the diminished seventh chord beginning from an octatonic scale's second degree, for example, are the same as the notes forming the diminished seventh chord beginning from the first degree of the following octatonic scale. Harmonically, octatonic scales harmonized diatonically produce the following major and minor triads, diminished triads, diminished and half diminished seventh chords, augmented six chords, dominant seventh, dominant seventh flat five, dominant seventh flat nine, and dominant seventh flat nine flat five chords, major and minor sixth chords, and minor seventh chords along with various altered and incomplete extended chords. It can be seen that many of these chords can only be formed on the notes of the diminished seventh chord beginning from the octatonic scale's first note, a feature which can be used to create mediant progressions, another harmonic feature common to octatonic scale usage. As with the modulatory possibilities contained in the scale's melodic structure, all of these chord types may be used to modulate between octatonic and diatonic sound worlds, and between the three octatonic scales. 
Octatonic scales may be used melodically over progressions derived from their own diatonic chords or progressions from major and minor keys. In jazz, for example, octatonic scales are commonly used over minor 7th and dominant 7th chords. Over an A minor 7th chord, a 2-1 scale beginning from the chord's root note, or a 1-2 scale beginning from the note a semitone below the chord's root note, produces the following notes, which all belong to A minor's ascending and descending melodic minor scale, plus an E flat blue note. They are also part of the octatonic scale beginning on D. Over an A dominant 7th chord, a 1-2 octatonic scale beginning from the chord's root note produces the following extensions. All of these notes are part of the octatonic scale beginning on C. Originally, inclusion of octatonic elements into works typically resulted from chromatic embellishment of the texture, often around diminished 7th and half diminished 7th harmony which harmonically often produce the mediant progressions discussed earlier. Over time, composers began to use the octatonic scales as the basis of entire sections or complete works. In some of these works, however, other notes not found in the octatonic basis would also be included. In this prelude by Scriabin, for example, while the majority of the texture is constructed using the octatonic scale beginning on C, notes not diatonic to that scale are also included, often as passing notes. Here, for example, a G-sharp note connects A and G, and here D connects D-sharp and C-sharp. Further examples of how different composers use octatonic scales will be the subject of other videos. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.